Hello, beautiful people. So it's the end of the day for me here. Um, you can tell I'm not wearing any makeup or any. I just thought I'd just jump on here and share. share. Um, so my daughter started school today. So happy school, uh, new school year for everybody who's starting school. My daughter started as a in primary school. Um, so it's been an emotional day uh, full of my own anxieties for her to, you know, have the best school uh, start as possible. And I realized uh, several things that, um, you know, we we give off, so energy is matter, sorry, energy is, is uh, waves, right? So we give off this energy, um, we give off, every emotion has a, a, a vibration in the score, in the um, um, research from David Hawkins. And he uh, has this ladder that I've shared in the webinar before. He has a ladder of emotions, the high, the low vibrational emotions that are basically sucking life force out of us, such as shame, grief, um guilt uh fear and they have a, a ladder of vibrations so the low vibrations to the higher vibrations and then um the higher vibrations of course are joy and and gratitude and bliss and um love of course uh but what's so and those are the life-giving emotions right and what's so amazing is this level the level between those two is the the emotion of curiosity and courage so we can share we can give these emotions to our children and our family members and our you know partners um we can give our own emotions um we can kind of set the tone and I realized I was setting the tone of nervousness and kind of like excited nervousness. And, and she was just not wanting any yesterday when I was trying to ground, you know, be around her and see what how she was about going to school, new school and, you know, totally cool and totally fine and no problem whatsoever. And I had all this anxiety stuff going on. She didn't want to be around me at all. You know, she just didn't want, she knew I was not, uh, even I was grounding myself and I was doing all the regulating tools that I have, the tapping, the havening, you know, the, um, all of these things. It was just, it was still like, she could still sense my kind of wobble. And um, so that I'm just, I'm just sharing this with you because it was really profound that she uh, could feel, and I do believe that all, you know, kids are much more sensitive to this than we are because we were we disconnected from our emotions we've disconnected from our state of mind so um i had to do extra extra work which is why i'm super tired today extra work on my emotional state yesterday and well actually today as well um to to really feel more grounded and uh into the sense into a state of acceptance of the situation of this state of of mind or state and body that i'm in right so that was my share um i want also to share today a uh, so just so you know that all the tools that i share with you obviously i use them on a, not a daily basis but almost daily basis and um I wanted to share a resource with you today because I think it's a, a super valid resource. And I've also been doing it now for um, <clears throat> a series of, you know, um, for an amount of time that I can see the benefits of it. And it's, you know, super um, beneficial to anybody who has chronic uh, pain or any disailments or ailments or dis-ease in their body. Um, it's called Human Garage, which is a kind of a strange name, but basically <clears throat> it's looking at, it's using fascia maneuvers 
So fascia is the um, net that lines, in fact, connects all parts of our body. So fascia is in, surrounds all the muscles and connects the ten, to the tendons and to the bones, all the organs, every part, or, you know, every part of our body is connected with this net. And um, Human Garage, and Gary in particular, who is, is the founder of it, uh, everything is for free, by the way, in this uh, in this human garage. It has loads and loads of documentaries and um, amazing, uh, like you know, one day reset and then two day, the three day reset and then a seven day reset and then the month reset. And basically, where it's helping you build flexibility and um, renew the fascia or kind of lubricate it basically back with movement with move with various different movements and various different stretches but it's not stretches like in yoga it's slightly different um it's like a kind of like a turning you have to think about wringing out a towel so there's lots of counterclockwise and um but it's all geared up towards people who to try and learn to teach people how to heal themselves this is his main thing and my main mission is to help people to take back their health into their own hands and so this is why I'm sharing this as a res as a resource that's super super powerful so give it a try I'll put the link uh, down below I am not an affiliating partner I mean I don't have I don't gain anything from it but I am now a, a volunteer in the human garage um uh, community so um, that's why I'm also sharing it and I would like to bring awareness to this great work that they're doing and the great momentum and um, you know free stuff that they share um, on all sorts of levels not only if, just about the fascia but also about gen health in general um, rehydration a lot breaking lots of like you know, limited um, viewpoints and limited from the medical system. So more holistic, alternative, integrative um, medicine. So go and check it out. And I would highly recommend and invite you to start the first day reset. Um, it gives you some really great tools and tips. And then the three day reset gives you basically you start to um, it's a whole nervous system reset and the whole fascia nervous uh, ner and nervous system reset. So it will really, really help you for any ailment. And then there's also on, on their website, there's specific videos and specific fascia maneuvers and releases for specific problems. So go and check it out and what it, for whatever problem you may have. And um, I'll be sharing also resources on this uh, website, this on my YouTube channel to help you um, get the best and take your health back into your own hands. So remember that your emotions affect other people. And so let's take responsibility for grounding. And uh, that was my less, big lesson today and yesterday. Um, especially when our kids are starting school or, you know, generally just being a parent or not being a parent, being around other people who are, you know, who you're affecting and they're affecting you. So just let's uh, take responsibility for our emotions and go and check out Human Garage. I'll set, have the link below so you can check out through my um, affiliation link. So see you next time. Bye for now.